Cohen sprung up and I make YouTube videos to help Caribbean students. <laughs> that going on your YouTube? Possible, possible. Hi, I'm Cohen sprung up and I make YouTube videos. Let's play a game and we'll call it the quadratic game because this game is going to test the number one skill that you need to know in factorizing quadratic equations for CXE. Before we get started, here are the rules. There are only 10 questions and you have 10 points. You get a question wrong, you lose a point. And the game itself is simple. You just need to guess two numbers I have on each piece of paper. It's not a psychic thing, it's maths. Last thing, I'm going to give you two clues about each number. I think that's it, they're ready for the game. Alright, so these two numbers add up to give me five. When I add the two numbers, I get five. But when I multiply the two numbers, I get six. What are the two numbers? Add, get five, multiply, get six. You can pause the video and think about it, but if you manage to do it before I show the picture and you don't pause the video, more power to you. So you can always pause the video and do it. The answer is two and three. Or some people may be thinking three and two. Same thing, both of them are correct. Three plus two is five. But 3 multiplied by 2, 6. So hopefully everybody still have their 10 points and 9 more questions to go. For some reason this game draws a lot of excitement and competition. People are all, you know, want to get a 10. I did it in lessons too already. Alright, anyway, these two numbers add up to give you 18. But when you multiply the two numbers, you get 17. So I multiplied two numbers and I got 17, but when I add it up, I got 18. So the answer you should be thinking is 17 and 1. 17 add 1 gives you 18. 17 times 1 gives you 17. Remember, it's going to get harder every round. And if you want to know how this applies to quadratic equation, or you're struggling with understanding how to factorize a quadratic equation, check out this video and I'll leave a link up here. The next two numbers multiply to give me 100 but add to give me 29. Now remember, this is a skill that you need to know how to do to factorize quadratic equations. So these two numbers multiply to give me 100 but add up to give me 29. Don't forget you can pause the video if you don't want the answer to flash at you immediately because I'm going to just flash it at you immediately. 25 plus 4, 29. 25 times 4 is 100. If you're getting all correct so far, you could start to feel like a boss. But um, it's going to get tougher because we're going to include those negative numbers and I know some students like, ah, oh, negative numbers. Ugh. These two numbers multiply to give me negative 8, but add up to give me positive 2. So that's a little weird to think about initially. The numbers multiply to give me negative 8, but when I add the two numbers together, I get positive 2. Anyway, answer. 4 plus negative 2 is actually 2, but 4 multiplied by negative 2 is actually negative 8. By the way, if you had a negative on the wrong number, that's wrong. Students always argue for losing marks when they forget a negative sign, or if they put a negative sign in the wrong spot. But listen, negative 4 is very different than positive 4. If you had $100,000 in the bank, and the bank call you and say you have negative one hundred thousand dollars in the bank that's a big that's a big concern one hundred thousand to negative what you could get through in jail for negative one hundred is a big difference it's like that's like school supposed to start at 8 a.m and you show up at 8 p.m in the night and tell them well a.m p.m same thing game out let me let me in you cannot get marks for putting negative signs in the wrong spot brother man 
These next two numbers add up to give me negative 2 but multiply to give me the same negative 8. So this one is similar to the last one, right? Because you're multiplying to get negative 8 but when you add them together you get negative 2. Here comes the answer. Notice that the negative sign is only 4 this time. That way the larger number is negative so that we will get negative 2 when we add them together. This one is really interesting because these two numbers add up to actually give me 0. But when I multiply them I still get negative 9. I multiply them and I get negative 9 and they add up to give me 0. Now don't forget to keep tallying how much marks you have so far. Because at the end I'll let you know what your mark corresponds to. Okay, so the two numbers that add to give me 0 but multiply to give me negative 9 are negative 3 and 3 will give me 0. But if we multiply them, we're going to get negative 9. Beautiful question, ain't it? Math is such a beautiful thing. Now these two numbers, oh gosh, I'll show you the answer. Well, I'll just blur this out in, y'all will be seeing this blurred in the editing. These two numbers that are blurred here add up to give me negative 7, but they multiply to give me um, 12, positive 12. So these two numbers add up to give me negative 7, but multiply to give me positive 12. And I'm going to take off the blue now. Hope you got that correct. Okay, number 8. These two numbers will multiply and give me positive 13, which is a prime number. Hint, hint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I multiply these two numbers and I got positive 13. But when I add them up, bap, bap, I get negative 14. So multiply positive 13, add up negative 14. And this is the answer. Alright, two more to go. Alright, so we're down to the last two, so these two will be a little more challenging, right? These two numbers multiply to give me negative 36, but when I add them, I get negative 5. These days are either greasy or ashy, like a channel in between. And the answer is negative 9 and 4. Did you get those? So before I go on to the last question and you will see if you get all correct or all wrong or five or and by the way you mustn't be ashamed if you get all wrong I mean I crack zero back to back in two exams in school already but as a next story I will tell you about that sometime I just want to mention today was Kare day in school today and I actually recorded this entire video in school but the noise audio was in a mess. I just had to abandon some of those footage and do over this video. I'm recording home but I can still show you some stuff from today, right? Now for the last question. These two numbers add up to give me 10,000. <laughs> yeah, so they're adding up to give you 10,000. But when you multiply them, catch this, when you multiply these two numbers, you get zero. But yes, when you add up these two numbers, you get 10,000. So in five, four, three, two, one. That's the answer, because if you're getting zero when you're multiplying two numbers, one of the number obviously must be zero. So how much marks did you get? If you get 10, you are a boss. It means your quadratic factorizing skills on a level of 1 for CXE. If you get 9, you're still on 1, but you must be there being a profile. If you get 8, that's looking like a 2. 7, that's a 2. 6, that's a 3. 5, that's a 3. 4, that's a 4. What number I reach? 3, that is a 4 still. 2, that is a 5. 1, that is like 6. Zip, right, yeah. I mean, I mean, don't talk about those numbers. 
go press like share the video with your friends and ask them how much they get you can feel free to learn about quadratic equations or subscribe to the channel until next time blessings